What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Friday evening. We'll be live streaming at uh, 9 o'clock Eastern. Hope you guys join us. Been working here on the studio. We've got a lot to do to get ready for next year. Uh, the off season actually isn't long enough to really get everything together. And, uh, you know, working here in my, uh, in not my mama's basement. This is my basement. Well, me, my wife, and the bank. It, it's actually the three of us basement. My mama has her own basement, and uh, you guys are seeing it. It's actually a cellar, not a basement. But anyway... We are sitting here. We have now had four days of being able to franchise tag players. Thus far, no players have actually been franchise tagged. Nobody's in a rush to do this because they have two weeks of time to do it because some players kind of get pissed off that they're not going to be able to have that chance of free agency. So teams wait till pretty much the last couple of days to do that. In the meantime, the Dallas Cowboys still have work to do in things like getting up underneath the cap. That is a major, major issue. We're $7 million over at the moment, which isn't much if they're not planning on signing any of their free agents or going out and getting any others. So if they're actually going to try and sign some of them, they need to start doing some work. One of the things they can do to achieve a lot of this is to do a restructure or an extension on Dak Prescott's contract. Um, at the moment, you know, people have always been on the Dak Prescott is overpaid, yada, yada, yada. But we could be looking at Aaron Rodgers fetching $60 million this year coming up. It's literally that that is possible. Lamar Jackson allegedly turned down a $250 million contract with $133 million guaranteed and is looking for a fully guaranteed contract. So quarterback compensation is about to go through the roof. And forty million right now is literally like thirty million was last year. It really is, and soon to be, well, twenty million if everything goes right for some of these quarterbacks going forward. And there's no indication that it is not. You have Derek Carr with it seems like revisionist history, where now all of a sudden the warts on Derek Carr don't exist because we keep talking about Dak Prescott and the interceptions. Well, he's had one year with a lot of interceptions with a broken thumb. You know, people don't ever seem to cut Dak Prescott any slack that he literally missed time with a broken thumb and had a plate, had to come back and so forth. But the team still won a lot of games with them, scored a lot of points with less than stellar talent out there as far as weapons. So the question is, do you go ahead and say, we're not going to touch that contract because we're going to go ahead and get rid of him? Or do you look at it and say, let's make a move on Dak Prescott's contract and get some cap relief so we can put some people around him? If you don't believe that the Cowboys can win a Super Bowl with Dak Prescott, And teams out there that are trying to sign Derek Carr and believe that he's going to take them to the Super Bowl, then they've got no chance either. Dak Prescott is far and away a better quarterback in every matrix that's out there. Wins, wins, completion percentage, yardage per game, touchdowns. They're tied as far as interceptions for their career. But you can look at this and say, if people believe in Derek Carr, then they would certainly believe in Dak Prescott because he's a way better of a quarterback. Of course, the Dak Prescott haters won't agree with that. But I do want to go to this little bit of a debate from ESPN on whether or not the Cowboys should extend Dak Prescott. Clark, what are your thoughts on whether the Cowboys should extend Dak this offseason? You know, I don't think that they should extend Dak right now, but let's be honest. The contract that Dak Prescott is playing under is the contract that Dak Prescott earned at the time. And when you give someone a contract, it's because of what they've accomplished and what you project they'll accomplish going forward. And if you're looking at this team and you're looking at Dak Prescott in his last year, the way that he turned the football over, the way that we watched him play in the big moments against the San Francisco 49ers, going forward, that doesn't say, 
say that Dak Prescott is the quarterback that can get the Dallas Cowboys to the Super Bowl that has eluded them for over the last quarter century. But Dak Prescott has to come back this year and show that. Okay, so for the last quarter century. So he's not the only one then. Is that what we're saying? Maybe it's not the quarterback. That he is the guy that they that they signed. He is the guy that's worth over forty million plus. And when you think about incentivizing a quarterback or pushing a quarterback to be better, you don't do that by giving them an extension. Now, on the business side of what the Dallas Cowboys have to do, they have to think about how extending Dak Prescott and giving him a team-friendly extension allows them to move and maneuver with the salary cap and add pieces around Dak, which he truly needed in order to perform at a higher level and so I do think it's tricky but from the standpoint of does Dak Prescott now deserve more money now deserve more guarantees I don't believe he does interesting you disagree well for me it's more about the salary cap and I think Dak here's the thing a few weeks ago, we had conversations about the Cowboys. And at the start of the season, we didn't think the Cowboys could be in the Super Bowl. As the season went on, we had conversations on this show. I'm sure Ryan Clark was a part of them on NFL Live, too, where it's like, oh, could the Cowboys? Are they actually – could they win the Super Bowl? Are they, are they a team with this quarterback? Like, here's the, <laughs> the thing. I understand that Dak did not have a good year. I understand the turnovers, the interceptions, uncharacteristic of what his career has shown. But when you look around the league at quarterbacks, I just don't understand the idea that you have a really good one and you don't want to pay them. Or you, do, you just say, ah, I mean, he hasn't – like Josh Allen ha – correct me if I'm wrong. Josh Allen hasn't won a Super Bowl, right? No. But there's belief in that building that he can lead them there. I think Dak has shown over his career that he can win. But when you change the offensive coordinator, when you have questions about the head coach, when you have questions about the roster, it can't just – offensive line, you can't just put it on the quarterback. Right, but they, they, have a, they have a question to ask about do they want to extend him, do they want to commit to him at the level that quarterbacks are getting paid now, uh, Tim? And, and that's, you know, that's, that's approaching or maybe even by the end of this offseason topping $50 million a year. Would you extend him at this point? I would absolutely extend him. Dak Prescott <laughs> isn't even 30 years old. And you know that he can play. Was you know, did he turn the ball over more this past season than you would like? Sure. You know, you can also go through those interceptions and, and look at a, a fair number of them that you could argue that other people didn't do their job as well. I mean, just think to the Jacksonville game where Justin gets returned Cliff, Cliff Franklin. for uh, you know a game-winning score. So look, here's what I would say. You know, in in, in terms of Dak. Like, is he good enough to win a Super Bowl? The answer, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is 100% yes. You have that guy in your building that you can win a Super Bowl with. And, uh, and he's not even 30 years old. I'm extending him, absolutely. And um, to be honest, if you don't, I think you end up putting yourself in a worse situation at the quarterback position. That, that, that's, inter that, that's the question, right, RC? And I remember when the last time they were talking about extending him and listening to Orlovsky say, you don't want to ever pay a good quarterback, great quarterback money. That's a trap teams fall into, right? And th is that the kind of thing you're talking about, that he hasn't shown the, 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 the ability to play at that Whoa. great, great quarterback level? So I thought the extension that Dak received, he deserved. And I thought he deserved it before mm -hmm. having to play on the franchise tag early on in his career in Dallas. I thought the way that team was playing and also where Dak was headed. And we saw a little bit of that in the first season after receiving the extension in those first six games before hurting the calf. And so in looking at Dak Prescott, I think you're in a very difficult position. I agree with much of what Tim said. When Dak Prescott plays at his highest level, when Dak Prescott Scott plays to the potential we've seen him play. He's a Super Bowl caliber quarterback. But we also understand the views on Dak Prescott. I believe now they're tinkering along the views of Kirk Cousins with less production. And so I believe watching Dak Kirk Cousins got better weapons, year, by the way. Under new coordinator, under a new scheme, with some more players around him, gives you a better view of where you're headed. We're not talking about the Minnesota Vikings. We're talking about the Dallas Cowboys and D Jerry Jones and the way they've maneuvered at the quarterback position and also with giving contracts to Dak Prescott. So Patrick Mahomes uh, endorsing the enemy on Twitter said there should be no questions on how great 
All right, so there you go. That is the discussion on whether or not Dak Prescott should be paid. You know, we're sitting here talking about um, Jimmy G is looking at being the third option behind Aaron Rodgers and um, uh, Derek Carr. Derek Carr, mind you, who has a losing record in his career, um, and double the amount of interceptions, I believe, that Dak Prescott has. But be that as it may, $35 million is what we're talking about for Jimmy G. We're looking at $45 million for Daniel Jones. Aaron Rodgers is already at 50 and will be well north of that. And that's before you start getting guys like uh, Justin Herbert, and uh, Joe Burrow. The cost of quarterbacks is a lot. And the reality is, is the one that the Cowboy fans are looking for, there's only one of those, and that's Pat Mahomes, and he's not available. All right, good people. I hope to see you guys at 9 o'clock tonight. Peace out.